So like I promised, now I'm going to show you how to um, configure everything for your main. Well, first you go to the map you made. With me it's on uh, E. So here are all the maps you made. You go to the front end map. You click the atomic map. Now go to the atomic manager, which you can see here. Open it. Here you should see the general folder. You want to see that it's set to this setting, 640 by 480. Game list sorted by game name. Enable sound. In others, this configuration runs games using emulators. Then of course, click the keyboard joystick steering wheel. And that's about it for this one. Now go to folders. The first one I'm going to show you is the ROM folders. You click on it. Now it should open up this screen. Now you go to the map you made. Here it is. And you select your emulators folder. Your MAME. And now you choose your ROMs folder. You click it. Press OK. Now it's set to the ROM folders. The snap folders we're gonna leave for now. Now the layout folders we're also gonna leave. Default emulator is what's gonna make everything run. So click it again. Go to the map you created here. Now go to the emulators map. Click it. Here's your main folder. Click it. And here is your MAME XA file. Click it. There you have it. Snap video folders we're also going to leave for now. And these we're also going to leave out for now. Now what else you want to do is go back to general. Click advanced options. Go to advanced. And by game lists. See that it's set to let atomic choose file name. That's about it for this folder. Now go to Options. Choose Option 1. Enable Layout Background Music when available. Click it. Go to Options 2. That won't be necessary for now. So that will be it. Then click Save. Give it the name MAME. I use a different one, but you should name it MAME. Click Save. OK, OK, set up a start configuration, click it, press OK, close it, there you go. That was about it for everything you're going to need to know about it. So now you set up your uh, configurations.